Welcome to the Formatized Management Portal video. There's another video on the app. This video is going to concentrate purely on the Management Portal. Great. Okay, so here is the dashboard and you can see it shows a whole lot of information about the business and what's going on with the different forms, the status of jobs, the email notifications that are coming through, recent activity and so on. And across the bottom we have what we call our photo stream which pulls in photos in real time as forms are being submitted and it's a great tool for management to be able to see exactly what's going on in the field. We can attach tags to the photos and the tags can be any form field. So things like date, job, location, job number, user, etc. All of those types of form fields can be used as tags and stored against the photo so that you can search for them later. Like I say, a fantastic tool for things like before and after shots on jobs. You can then go through and look at the form that's associated to that photo. So that's the photo stream across the bottom of the dashboard. I'm going to move very quickly across the horizontal menu at the top of the page now just to show you some of the features that are included with Formatize. In the Forms section you can view your forms, you can build and edit forms, you can manage templates, you can start and resume a form in the management portal so you don't have to fill in forms in the app, you can do it here online in the management portal as well. You can look at all of your submitted forms and then we've got some integration tools. So very quickly let's pop in and see the build edit forms. And here you'll see that you've got three choices. You can use the form builder to create and edit your own forms using the drag and drop tools. Really simple to use. You can create forms using our wizard. Or if you don't like either of those two, you can upload your form and we'll build it for you. So re three really simple options there for creating your own forms. The other area here that I want to have a quick look at is the submitted forms section. So when a form is filled in in the app and submitted, it comes here into the management portal for review and edit. You can customize these tabs across the top. You can have as many of those as you want to, to separate the different forms that are coming in so that you can monitor them in more detail. We'll just go in here and have a look at all forms. So very quickly it shows the ID, the creation, the title, etc. And you can see over here on the right hand side the status. You can have different statuses here. Uh, to manage in the workflow. So I'm going to click the top one here and let's have a look. So it, this form has been completed in, in the field on the app, submitted, and now we can go through as a portal user, review the information and make any spelling changes that we want to or add new information. Uh, we can go through and check and make sure it's been completed properly. You can see the photos, you can click on those to view them in more detail. All of the information that's been submitted from the field is now here and ready for viewing. Okay, if we go across the tabs here uh, at the top, first of all, Quick Nav just enables you to very quickly move through the form. So you're not scrolling backwards and forwards. You can very quickly find the details that you're looking for. Just And it, it instantly scrolls to the customer email in that example. You can look at details in the form. You look at the form history, adds, moves, changes and viewing. And let's have a look at the view PDF. So with every form that's created, we can also generate by default a PDF. Now the PDF can be designed to look however you want it to, but in this case we're looking at a default PDF. The default will bring in your logo and put it on the left hand side. It'll also bring in all of your contact details and put those on the right hand side. And in this format we have the questions on the left in grey and the answers and responses on the right. But the default uh, PDF can have images, comments, tables, graphs and charts, uh, tables like we've got here. It embeds the signatures in the right places. And then at the bottom of the default report, it brings in the submitted by details, time and date, and gives it a unique ID. So that's all automatically generated. As soon as you build a form using the form builder, this PDF will be automatically built for you. And then it can also, as I said, be customized to look and feel however you want it to. You've got the ability to download the PDF into your own system if you want to. You can go back to the form for further editing, or you can put in the client details here, email address, and email it straight to the client. So that's in the form submissions, and that's um, part of the form menu. Okay, moving across the top, we've now got resources. Resources is like an e-library where you can create your own folders, you can upload documents into those folders, and then when you save them, 
they'll automatically upload into the app for the field users. So it means that everybody in the field has access to the latest copies of everything. Here we've got things like folders for operations manuals, safety procedures, registration documents, licenses, material safety data sheets, for example. So you can upload a material safety data sheet into your material safety data sheet folder. You can then give it a version number. And importantly, you can give it an expiry date. A lot of documents have an expiry date. And Formatize will automatically notify you when your document is approaching expiry and, in fact, when it has expired. So a very nice document management system fully built in. You can assign uh, the different documents to different users. So only certain groups, like a sales team, can see certain documents. A really nice way of ensuring that everybody has the latest copies of everything with them all the time. So that's the resources section. In the jobs section, lots of options. Again, you can view the jobs and their current status. You can create a new job. You can import jobs from an Excel or CSV file into Formatize. Formatize will then dispatch them to the mobile users. You can set up recurring profiles. There's a full cloud-based scheduler to uh, manage both your people and your assets. That's all included. Please see the separate videos on those. I'll very quickly show you how to create a new job, just so you can see how simple this is to use. So the first section is job details, where you put in things like the job title, the job number, the order number, any notes. When you're assigning the job to a mobile user, you can either do it to individuals or you can assign it to groups. Here we have the sales team, and that will automatically assign that job to everybody in the sales team. If it's a recurring job, i.e. not a one-off job, but one that's recurring. Select that, and it then gives you the recurring profile. So I want to s send the job out every two weeks, and I want that to finish at the end of November. Now, when you've entered the profile, it then gives you a confirmation summary, just to make sure you've got it right. So this is going to create a job every second week, starting on the 9th of July. The maintenance will end on the 30th of November. And here's the next three dates of the profile. Now, once you've created a job, you can then attach forms to the job. So if you select here, you'll see the different forms that are available. I want to attach an invoice, and I want to attach the work order and a timesheet. So now those three forms are going to be sent off with the job to the field user. And you can see that once I've added them above, they're now here available in the bottom section to be pre-populated. So if there's certain information that in the office you want to pre-populate before it's sent out, you can add that information in here. And now hit Dispatch in the top right-hand corner. The field user will receive a notification on their app that they've got a new job, and those forms will be attached ready for completion. So that's the job section. The compliance section is really for businesses that have workflow requirements. And here we've got an example of a non-conformance report. So it can manage the non-conformance process from start to finish. And that's just one example. It really, the compliance register covers anything that has a workflow and requirement. And it, you can move through the different tabs of that workflow to see the different forms that have moved into each different status. And that can include notifications and is fully customizable. So please see the separate video on the compliance register. You can add databases to the solution. And they uh, can be on anything that you like. It's very simple to upload a database. You just simply grab the file import it and it will build the database for you. And those databases can be uh, linked to the forms. So for example, here we've got products and customers. I can, when I touch on the product section in the app, it will automatically do a look up to the product tables. Okay. In the tools section, we've got a CSV report builder, which enables you to build reports on any single field of information that's being collected in the forms. You can search your photos against the tags, as I mentioned earlier. You can create reminders and notifications, both internal and external. And you can view the email log, which just shows you the results of all of the emails that are coming and going through the system. So we'll have a quick look at the report builder. So I'm going to select a form. I can put in a date range. So if I'm creating my timesheets, for example, or my travel logs through the system, I can put in the, the day or the week or the month that I want that to report that generation for. Hit update if I want to collect everything. There's only five forms in this report, so it won't take long. 
and there you can see there's the information. Now this top row is basically the column headings. So I can go through and every field in the form is available as a column heading. So if I want to rearrange the structure of this report, I can just go ahead and select the details here. Okay, so there's the customer list. So I can go through and change the format of these columns to create a report on any single field of information being collected in any of my forms and it can be done with just a few clicks. I can then filter that information and arrange it to get it exactly as I want it and if it's a report that I'm going to use again in the future then I can save it as a preset template call it whatever I like. So the next time I come in I can just select my date range select my report and all of the columns are built ready to create and you can then download that to your own system and do with it whatever you like. So that's one of the tools. The others as I mentioned is to search photos and create reminders and view your email log. Okay very quickly in the settings uh, all the typical things that you'd expect for settings. Um, I really like the customized one where you can customize your own portal and your own app. So when you upload your logo on registration um, it will automatically do a color analysis and will decide on the color of the portal for you. You can very easily change that by selecting a different color uh, within your color range or you can move across onto the color palette and select whatever color you want. Okay. If we grab a, an orange logo here for example and pop that in you'll see that the whole portal automatically rebrands for you. Down the bottom in the alternate logos you can also create and add different logos for the login screen of the app and for the forms, uh, the logos at the top of the forms. So in addition to branding your portal it's also branding the look and feel of your app and it'll take the colors from here to create your app color as well. So lots of other tools within the settings as you'd expect. The API and the integration information are all included in here. And finally within the users section uh, this is where you create your own users. You can create your own groups and assign users to those groups and you can create guest passes which enable external parties to be able to come in and view um, restricted elements of your portal. So you might have large clients that you'd like to give access to the portal to view their own forms or their own invoices or their own reports that you've generated for them. So that's it and uh, hopefully that's given you enough of a flavor for the management portal. Like I said there's detailed videos on the different sections. This video is really just to give you a summary of what it is and how it works. Thanks very much for your time. We look forward to working with you.